my all, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Eating Out in Vegas. Like I said before, I'm still a little bit behind on my videos, so we're going to have two that are back-to-back, -back, and this was also a double feature anyways that we had previously done. And what it was was we uh, went to Above the Crust, which is what we had done before, except for it was just my husband and I, and this time we had my daughter with us. And this was also the same trip where we went to Crumble, the cookie place, which was just down the street from above the crust. So, we revisited this location. It was at 7810 West Ann Road. It's in the Centennial Hills area. And, um... Again, another fantastic visit. We did their family special this time. They have, when you go in, they've got flyers and all kinds of um, billboards and stuff on their chalkboard and whatnot that has different things that they're featuring. Because we had gone prior to Christmas and whatnot, they were having, I believe, Santa come and visit and whatnot. So there's different things that they feature in different areas of their restaurant. This particular one is on the flyer that we took home. You'll see it pop up, and it shows every single special that they have for the different days of the week. This particular special that we partook in was um, their family special. It's every Sunday and every Monday. And it's for a large cheese pizza. If you want to put toppings on it, it's extra. What we chose to do is we chose to do a Philly cheesesteak pizza, which was absolutely amazing. The pizza itself was so big that we actually didn't have enough room on our table, and we had to put it on the table behind us. And they have a very clever way of holding the pizza. They use their gigantic... Um, sauce cans to put the pizza on so that it stays elevated and it's got a good base to it to support it and it you know this way you can have your plates and stuff on the table as well but because of this family special that we did it came with the large pizza it came with a bucket of wings which we were able to choose different flavors that we wanted so we did a half and half and we chose to have half of it as just your regular buffalo hot and then we chose to have the other half as a spicy barbecue both were phenomenal they very very good taste you know i can't complain about anything that we've had from this place it also comes with four garlic rolls and a two liter of soda and if you are dining in, you don't have to do the two liter soda. They will offer you to do the fountain drinks so that you can just refill your drinks. So that was very helpful. Um, the only thing that I would say, and this is, this is me speaking. This is not um, anything wrong with their food. I have an issue with garlic, fresh garlic. And so I shy away from it. The smallest amount of garlic could actually seem too strong to me. Now, my daughter absolutely loves garlic. My husband likes garlic. So the two of them thought the garlic rolls were fantastic. I, however, you know, I had one bite and I told them this is you know, feel free to split the rest between you guys. And for me to elaborate on this, what had happened was, is I was younger and I used to work on a dude ranch here in Las Vegas. And we used to rent out horses and they would wander through the desert. This was off of Pecos. And believe it or not, to see that area now, I mean, it's so completely built up. There's businesses and whatnot. But at the time, it was just straight desert from Pecos Road all the way up to Eastern. And... We had that whole area to ride our horses through. And the funny thing was, is that the, there's a McDonald's at the corner of Sunset and um, Eastern. And we, my best friend and I, when we were riding on our own, we would take our horses up to McDonald's, go through the drive-thru, and they'd get a big kick out of it. And we'd get 
you know, ice cubes and hash browns for the horses. You know, yeah, not the healthiest thing, but they, they liked them. And it was a treat. It was just every now and then. And um, it, it was it was fantastic. It was really neat to, to do that. What had happened one day is when I was working, there was another girl. And I guess she thought it would be funny. I had to go and rescue two guys that had gotten thrown off of their horses. And I had to go and get them and bring them back in. And while I was gone... She chose to put, oh gosh, a whole bulb of garlic. I mean, we're talking, it had to have been at least 12 cloves of garlic in my water jug. And this is in the middle of summer. I get back and I'm thirsty and I grab my jug and I just start chugging the water. And yeah, it was pretty gross. Made me sick. So ever since then, real garlic if it's too strong it yeah not a good thing so um like i said not a big deal you know both my daughter and my husband absolutely love the garlic rolls so you know it does come with the marinara um and you know this was another great visit that we had with this place i can't complain the service they're very friendly they're very accommodating and, um, you know, I'd like to go on some of the other days and actually try some of their other specials, but they, um, they're willing to work with you, you know, if you want a little bit of this or a little bit of that, whatnot, they're, like I said, they're very accommodating. So yeah, give this place a try. Um, one of the three locations that they have, which they have the one that we went to was at 7810. West Ann Road. Again, it's over in the Centennial Hills area. Then they have 5585 Simmons Street, which is in North Las Vegas. And their other one is 8334 South Maryland Parkway, which I think will probably end up being the next location that we go and um, give a try with because that's a little closer to where we're at. So, um, anybody goes and tries this and, you know, please leave me feedback. Let me know what you guys thought. And, um, you know, if you go there and try it, let them know where you saw the restaurant at and, um, you know, tell them that, you know, we were giving them a shout out and whatnot. And, you know, thanks again, guys, for supporting me and watching my videos. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me. I'll put my email in the description and at the bottom of the page here. And, um, yeah, please subscribe. Hit the like button. If you subscribe, please hit the bell button so you get notified. And you guys have a great week. Stay tuned for the next one because we're covering Crumble again. Have a good one.